happy with whether I was around. Again, guys, I didn't let you know that I was going live because this is just, I'm fed up of it taking uh, three hours to upload a three minute video when if I do live, it just goes straight up. So what I'm doing, you may have noticed this uh, raised goat bed before for Sefi, um, but what we're actually doing is adding an extra 90 centimeters in legs on top. And the reason we're doing this is, well, they're, they're mountain goats. They like high space. Seffy <coughs> loves this bed. And it'll probably Billy use it, to be honest, more than anybody else. But once Ash has put this leg in, we can talk about how we're going to do the fourth leg. So I thought rather than making a, uh, a video and then spending three hours screaming at it, trying to get it to upload. Hi, Rach. Hi, the busy little house. I thought I'd just show you live. So three legs already, 90 centimetres. Um, they are four by four posts. So four inches each way. 100 millimetres by 100 millimetres. 100 millimetres by 100 millimetres. Thank you very much, Asha. <laughs> you can't say four by four, 90 centimetres. No. Oh. We're back. Sorry, guys. I'm I'm in a stone barn. Okay, so these posts have been cut in half, so nine long. Ash has just put the camp on to hold it in place. Use the spirit. Level. Upright is a relative term. Yeah, well, they're sort of upright. So then, what we're doing is two screws into the side. I've got a horrible feeling. If we go back over there again, you're not going to see Big this. Special screws. These. These are, we call them here, call them timber locks, and I know you can get them in America. And the head's different, the head goes in, so it countersinks, and they're just really, really good. And they're quite expensive. Well, they're nowhere near as expensive as they were when we first got them. But they're reusable, they're that good. But you can reuse using them and then took them out and reuse them about 10 years later. So, you know, you can reuse these and what we're doing that's true yeah yeah go for it Oops. oh dear oh well slightly skewish leg but you'll see it'll pull it back in okay. hopefully what there you go <laughs> that's the screw it, it pulled because of this design it pulls the wood together so even if you have a bit of an oops moment like that like we just did um, it will then pull itself back again in again. I mean, this this goat bed that I'm using, you may have noticed I also have a few of these in the garden. These are my raised beds, and this one had a solid base, so I decided to use that for a goat bed. And Sefi loves it, so you know. But aside from those two screws, let's see if I can show you on this one here how the screws have gone in so a slight angle so in order to help stop it from moving see if I've random planks so just strap some planks around the base that'll stop that will stop the legs yeah do you want to grab some planks to do that yep he's so clever um yeah i cut these up haha -ha. i just thought i've got to do something today i'm having a bad day and i need to do something hello carol Uh, we're making a raised goat bed, and it's upside down at the moment. But down here, you see these these look like that is an upside down version of my raised bed to my garden. That's because it is. Um, but Sefi's had this in here, only a little bit raised, but she loves it. She's had it in here for a year now. Um, and I've always wanted to make it bigger, lift it up a bit, obviously the, you know, being sort of part mountain goats <laughs> no not a full poster as Asha said they'd end up eating eating the car the curtains unfortunately so my idea was to just stick them on turn it upside down well turn it the right way up and there's the bed but as Asha's just said it would actually be sensible to put some wood around here so that they can't flex and I'll probably do that quite low down the goats will still use them anyway they'll they'll probably have one underneath and one on top 
I know what will happen. Billy will get on top and then he'll think that he can jump out of there. Which he can't. Because, you know, mesh. <laughs> so we should just see what happens and see if they like it. Yes, bunk beds. Exactly. That was actually another thought of mine was to put another bed underneath it. But it's so heavy. I mean, these posts are heavy. That bed is really heavy. So this is just going to get heavier and heavier. Right, let's have a look at the planks he's had an idea for. We have random bits of wood lying around. You know, every, every farm, I think, does. So these are... They do like height. Sorry, guys, problems of big old stone barns. We'll just have a look at the snow plow and the tracks are throughout here because Asha's getting stuff ready. Hello. Yes, it's for you. We'll let you in soon. You can have a play. The snow plow is ridiculous. It's so big and heavy. But it was designed for our farm. We got it from the guy who used to live here. And these were actually added on to make it a little bit wider so that it cleared the tracks. It cleared the wheels of the tractor. So as you can see, it's a bit wider there, there than you'd normally expect. And he actually had it done by a guy down just in the village. And I'm um, thinking of taking it back to that guy in the village and getting these extended wings taken off because it's a little bit too big, really, for our tractor. And the tractor's managed, but... It's not ideal. I don't really know how it would manage in the snow with such a big weight. Let's let Asher playing around with stuff at the moment. Oh, he's cutting them down to length. I would take you into his workshop, but I'll probably lose signal. Let's have a go. Let's see if we can get in to show you the power tools I've just been playing with. Sort of thing about Asher's... Um, workshop is it's got every every power tool almost every power tool that you can imagine if i lose signal i'll go back outside we, oh yeah because we've moved that one over there yeah. the only problem is all the plugs are all up there when you see them said, built this workshop there's all the plugs well, years yes it, of this was built 200 years ago before electricity was around <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so this is what he's doing, goggles. Yep, I should wear them. He should wear them, because I actually just tried using this without goggles. And closing your eyes when handling this saw is uh, scary. noisy yeah stop now you need to get longer t-shirts oh, well, sorry i've just had to move away from you so i have a builder's crap showing <sighs> builder's bottom as we call it here <laughs> anyway that's um this is quite fun and at the same time scary because you have to lift this oh, let's do it this way oh there you can see the huge saw, the blade, and uh, that is really, really scary. And I was having to hold it up with one hand because it wouldn't automatically lift up when I was cutting those big, massive posts. So I was having to hold it with one hand, have my eyes closed with the other because I couldn't find the goggles. We have the goggles. We now have the goggles. Oh, he's off. Oh, he's off to measure. Oh no, he's off to clamp and screw one of them in place. Does it work? Bring in the box of screws instead of one screw would probably have been clever because he needs more than one screw. Yeah. But this is Asher. Yeah, you're lucky anything works. Whee, look at that old barn, isn't it beautiful? Anyway, as I get really, really good signal here and not very good signal. Stand look, through the, stand look through the anti goat mesh. Yeah, this 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 mesh was put up because there's a lovely gate there, and it's fine for sheep, but it was not fine for billies. 
Billy doesn't see why fences should apply to him. Billy is of a believer that a fence is there to stop the kids from following him. It's to stop other goats. Yes, yeah, to stop other goats, not to stop him. These are obviously allowed to go anywhere they like, so they're special. He's so funny. He's a, he is a very special goat. In so many ways. He's extra special in some ways. You silly Billy. Right, Goats like heights. Goats are just a pain in the backside. I love them. They're hilarious. They make me laugh so much, especially Billy. He's so funny. Except when he jumps on my car. Yeah, he's not funny though when he jumps on the car. That is his latest thing, and that did not go down very well. Something right on the roof of the car. It's, it's a high point, Asher. The roof yeah. of the car is a high point. Yeah, I thought it had sat in that barn for a while. Yes, if your car was perhaps in use rather than sat in the barn decaying yeah. he may not actually find it so appealing to jump on sorry guys yeah bloody barn that's an extra job for today and the goat. And Wi-Fi in the barns, Asher. We do, yeah, have to speak to the thing. Point. Good idea. Yay! What with his sister and do consultancy for us. <laughs> yeah. So this will be the bottom. This is not the top, this is the bottom. <laughs> We're just making it a little bit more secure. Full of goats. It will be completely full of goats. They'll be jumping in and out, and I'm in the way. Oh, Sophie's fine. She was back to normal in about 36 hours. I mean, in about 36 hours. I mean, she did have a long-acting antibiotic and painkiller. The vet gave. So that's. Uh, so that's. Uh, that has helped. Right, now he's off to measure and do another one. Yeah, I keep using the pencil behind. I've left it up here. I don't know where you've left the pencil. I was using... It's probably in my pocket. It's, no, it's, not it's probably in his pocket. No, it's in this workshop. This is why, when you have a workshop, you should always have about a million pencils. You should have about a million pencils. So this will all be turned the other way up, the right way up. And instead of being over in that corner, where we've just emptied it, it's going to be in this corner. Well, probably not actually in the corner, probably more that way. Oh, the deer sheep. <laughs> the soways. They're not the new sheep anymore. I've, I've acquired a few new ones since then. <laughs> you went out to get a pie and you came back with some sheep. I did. I went to buy a pie and I came back with some sheep. Live sheep. Not for Not for going in the pie. I'm terrible, Carol. I really, really am. Um, there's a, a buffalo farm not far from me. Believe it or not, we actually have buffalo. Yeah, water buffalo. Water buffalo living in the Highlands of Scotland. Which, And uh, I visited there to go buy a pie because their pies are amazing. We don't get them very often. And uh, while I was there, she says, oh, do you want to go look at my sheep? I've got Gotlands. I was like, yes, I want to see Gotland sheep. Because they have a lovely fleece. And I didn't even know where I could get hold of any. And she said, oh, we have a few for sale. Oops, I bought a few. <laughs> so the girls are going to be put to her purebred Gotland boy. So I won't get them until after they've been, been in with the lad. Um, but the other two are boys. How many is a few? <laughs> I don't want to say Asher's with an earshot. <laughs> <laughs> I've technically only bought four, but, but hopefully two of them will be pregnant. <clears throat> so the boys were twins, they're fiber breeds. Um, are you going to put them about the same? Uh, height as the others or are you just putting them randomly i put them about the same height yeah. they're not in properly yet 
there. We don't. You, you don't always measure things properly. As long as you have a measure. See, the ceiling's new. That's quite measured. Well, I knew it's within the last hundred years. Mm. Sorry, Carol. I'm in a two hundred year old stone barn. The um, internet's a bit rubbish in here. Bloody Victorians. Lack of internet. Yes. Those terrible Victorians that hadn't invented the internet. It's terrible. Hadn't thought about these things. Yeah, that's that's what I was sort of saying. Was you know was perfect. There is a saying when you're building things of uh, measure twice, cut once, and uh, Taylor is so true. You have no idea how many people measure something once, go and cut a piece of wood, and then come back and go, oh, it's too short. You can't make a piece of wood any longer. Well, not the same piece of wood. Shut up, Asha. You cannot use glue for something that's going to actually keep the goats in. <laughs> then again, actually, some glues are pretty good these days. When he's finished this, I shall show you the massive drill that he's using. And the biggest mistake that I see... <gasps> oh, Carol, you see the, the thickness of these walls? It's, it's not really surprising they're still in use this this is one wall um this is an outside wall. Got tape measure no no right my hand is six inches six twelve eighteen that is about 23 inches thick that wall modern render's gone there so yeah about 22 inches thick, which is two just under two foot thick. And the ones in the house are about three foot thick. Let's see if we can get back over there. Hello, little birds. Got little birds nesting again. Don't know why they're nesting in August. They're all messed up. So I will show you in a moment. I will show you the biggest mistake that I see. Um... Yes, Carol, it's fantastically cold in the win in the summer and it's warm in the winter. Um, the biggest mistake I see on Homesteaders videos over and over again. Asha, could you please grab, uh, show me your drill and explain the hammer mode? And maybe if you could make it work so we can hear the hammer mode. Hammer mode. Over here. Okay. I don't have much area for there you are. hammer mode turns it onto the picture of the hammer and it makes it go dugga 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 when you drill into something ah we're back we hear people drilling something and going D -d 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 that is hammer mode um you don't need hammer mode for wood. Asha, what do you need hammer mode for? Masonry. Masonry. Because masonry drills are essentially rotary chisels. They're not drills. So this wall would require a hammer drill. You, <laughs> you watch a video and they're not a wood drill or they don't realise that they're using a hammer drill or like our big drill that we've got here. It has hammer mode and normal mode. So we sort of have a picture of the hammer on the left. It's a bit. That's a hammer. So you've got a picture of a hammer there. And then on the other side. That probably means universal or something. I don't know. But you don't. You just don't don't want it on the hammer section setting you need it on the normal setting um because a hammer setting as asha said it's it's more a hammer drill is more like um a chisel so you know with the chisel you just sort of go bang 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 constantly at something that's how a hammer drill works and that's why a hammer drill is really really good for masonry but they're, they're pointless for wood you'll break things you're using the wrong type of hammer setting uh, the wrong type of drill setting and yeah sure it it may work but you just don't need it make it 
My goat bed is nearly finished. We do need to put um, two screws in there. Two screw, yeah, timber locks. So these, aside from having the two screws at the side there, these big posts, they also have one from the other side coming, well, up as it is here. We've got a, we've got a fresh bale of shavings somewhere, haven't we? I can't, I can't uh, think where it is. That where it is. That's yeah. good. In the room with all the fresh, with all the fresh food. Uh, no, the fresh. <laughs> we, ha we have a room that's called the feed room here for the animals, and it actually has no feed in it. <laughs> But it was originally called the feed room and because the goats found the feed and they could get in easily uh, well not easily but they could get in such as if we're walking in and out all day we're um leaving the door open because it's a big massive metal door that's, that um can get a bit tricky so uh, the goats figured it out really quickly so now we've had to move the feed however the room is still known as the feed room that is true. We do have a barn called the Penguin Barn, and it has no penguins. It's taking shape. It's so exciting. These just tie all the legs together so they can't get pushed out with the weight. When goats decide to climb, hang on. Mind you, I'll use my foot as footrest on goats. Yeah, that's true. Um, I have also got. Um, they need to be replaced with stronger bits. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll deal I'll with. Put them down low so. That yeah. Goat isn't going to fall far. <laughs> we can replace it easily. Um, I've also got a small pallet that I'm going to put up here. How many buildings do we have on the property? We've got about ten barns. No? We've got. One bit, one. If we count this whole complex here, minus the cattle quarters, one barn, we've got barn, five bay, and a penguin. That's one, two, three barn, that barn, five bay, six barns. Plus the um, studio, seven. Seven barns, and the chicken house. Eight, and the house. Which isn't really a barn. Thing. No, no, she just has buildings. Oh, yeah. Um, but this this room, is this room with that room the workshop which is there and behind me that's the stable behind me um that's if we class those as one this was as one bar what's the threshing grain the grain store is above us up there that's true yeah so all the unthreshed grain which is the grain with the still on the straw will be stored up there a threshing machine would be in that room where and there are two there's a hole in the wall where the belt from a trap belt drive from a tractor would come in to drive the threshing machine and they would thresh the grain. This was in the days before combine harvesters. This is in nineteen fifties, nineteen sixties. Yeah. Yeah, threshing machines well, they sort of came in during Victorian times, but they didn't really take off until wartime. Well they they were taken off, but they would be very big. I don't know when this when this space had a I've had a threshing machine. Who knows? But it's it's got the um, gaps, so it's clearly was designed for one. Yeah. They're built in and everything. Well, it's been changed. This use that's of the a lintel. Changed, so there's a little sort of doorway. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a lintel there, isn't it? Yeah. So there was a doorway. You can see a line in the stone. So there was a doorway there going into. And that big barn there was in a different place than the original maps. So at one point would have been in full use absolutely this entire farm was in full use until about 10 Probably, years ago. yeah until about 10 years ago it had a we know the farmer who grew up here two farmers it's not quite long enough but i'm not cutting any bit of wood no no that's fine if we go to break it. um yeah we know the uh, two farmers who grew up here um michael and leslie and uh, i mean they promote michael's over almost every day because he's next door and your sheep are out in our sheep, yeah, we, yeah we, we sort of share grazing for the sheep and we share sheep sort of at times. <laughs> How old is the farm? Um, time of memorial. <laughs> Hi, Susie. Yeah, yeah, on maps, when what you would class as specifically the farm, Asha knows all this detail. It, was a, it appears as a farm with a, with a farmhouse and this barn and a barn next door that was in a different, slightly different place on the first edition Ordnance Survey map, which is 1873. So there was definitely something in 1873. Our house was built at some point between that map and the next edition in 1904. 
but the house is at the very least 115 years old but it's probably closer to 120 130 years old yeah and the house would have been here uh goodness knows um there was another house this area probably wasn't affected by the clearances going on actually the hiding clearances yeah let's find that out uh, i mean the, north. the same Archerston was built in the 18th century. 18, uh, 17... 20 or something. It was built in the 17 teens and then it burnt down, after it burnt down in 1725 or something like that. That's the one of the villages. Yeah, the closest village, which is, and the Kando has been around. A long, long time. That's got an old wool mill. Yeah, so this was probably part of the Archerston estate. No, it was part of the Nokando estate. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, Glen Rinnis. No, but in old times, this would have been part of the Kando. Yeah. So. But uh, the whole oh, area, well, the the area belonged to the Grant clan. Um, I know Carol's fascinating. We we love the history of this place. That's that's what we absolutely love about knowing the people who grew up here. Um. Also members of the Grant clan. Yes, they're also their surname is Grant, so they are members of the original Grant clan and the original. The Grant clan owned all of this area. Um, you'll find lots of things um, called Grant. You've got Grant Town just down the road. Glen Grant. Glen Grant, um, which is whiskey, yeah. Glen Livet. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 that was owned. No, Glen Livet was owned by the Grants. That's true. Either yeah, at some name, point or still. after the Livet River. Yeah. yeah. The bogey? No. <laughs> the river bogey. Oh yeah, yeah Glen Bogey. Yeah. <laughs> Always good for, for human health sneakers. Yeah. So we're just finishing off the last the last of these braces. Place your bet. How long for a goat snap? A goat snaps these braces off. <laughs> well, you know Billy's gonna stand on them. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, don't do that. Don't ever drop screws in a stable because they can go into a foot. We, we never did find that second needle, did we? That's in the stable. No, there's a hypodermic needle in here somewhere. <laughs> no, not in this one. It's in the stable next door. Yeah, I'm hoping it'll... Well, we've got to clear it all out anyway and hopefully it'll pop up when we're clearing yeah, it. Yeah, it just gets scrunched by the thing. Yeah, was a vet got the needle. Happens. Wow. Right, so. Uh, yeah. Turn it over, do those two screws. Yeah. So, the raised goat bed is about to look like a goat bed. You can plant some goats in it. Yeah, plant, plant goats. That's it. Plant goats. Now, this may involve a bit of swearing. <laughs> Grab my gloves, I'll wench. Watch us. Um, you'll have to excuse excuse any flashing of bottoms. Thank you, Asha. Like that. It's a nice bottom. It is a nice bottom. He um he refuses to admit that he needs he's getting to that age where he needs to buy bigger t-shirts. So... No, that would, that would be to admit I have middle-aged. <laughs> that would be too sad. He's but... older than me, by the way, and I'm forty. <laughs> right. What's your plan? You do this on the other side, and we'll shift it that way, and then roll it through that gap. Shifting it what way? That way. Okay. And then it will roll that way through the gap. And then when it's the right way up. Push I can put the way. final screws in and we can uh, lift it on the beat. One, two, three. There we go. A bit. And we'll just spin then it I'll up. Roll it. Yep. Now. It has to be put away. <laughs> this is the difficult bit. Are you going to put the screws in the top of these two top ones first? That's probably going to be easier, isn't it? Uh, yep. Yeah, I'll do that first. Actually, you need to buy bigger t-shirts. You cannot buy medium t-shirts your entire life. You are not a teenager anymore. Men. I refuse to admit to this part of time. My growing decrepitude. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Sorry. Sorry, I was... Um, yeah, part of the thing about the history of this place, I mean, we both love history things. 
Um, part... Sorry, I don't know when it disconnected. I wasn't. Um... I'm sorry we keep losing you. So, don't really know. But yeah, look at the stone on the wall. Absolutely love history. And part of the appeal of this place was. You know, the. Okay. Fair enough. Do it that way then. <laughs> That's a race go bed. Um, that's bigger than I thought. Um, I, I... <laughs> okay, it'll have to go next to this here, just the other side of it. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> you, you, I thought you measured. No, I just guesstimated. Okay. I just thought I'm going to use two of these posts, cut them in half. How tall are they? That looks fine. I didn't really realise just how big these, this is. Oh, the goats are going to have a great time. Are you going to leave it with the to be put away sign at the front? Oh, probably. Okay. Remind the goats to keep themselves tidy. <laughs> Billy will love it. I'm going to let the uh, let the goats in once we've finished it. And Billy is just going to be straight in there. We may actually have to put a little step somewhere. <laughs> We've got a, a cable reel in the. Yes, that's a good idea. We'll put a cable reel in it. Or, at sort of part in, part out. They're going to absolutely love this. As soon as all the stuff's out, I'm going to bring... Well, Ash has got to put it away, and then I've got to put... Uh, well, we'll let the goats out first, and I'll put bedding in later. Let them have a play. Billy's going to take one look at that and just get so excited. But this here is a hay manger, and they all jump in there. They've all been in there. Even Sefi slept in there. So they can actually go from there through this into that. So that will work out okay. But no, I, I didn't measure it. I didn't think to measure it. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, it's funny. But when I've got one of these, I have actually got another one of these available. One of these beds. I might bring it and put it at the bottom there. Or we can just leave it like that. Yes, yeah, somebody else <laughs> said uh, goat bunk beds. Oh, that's funny. I really did not think that measurement through. <laughs> it's so tall. Yeah. <laughs> A jungle gym. Yeah, I mean, they're going to love it. So it's going to be up onto here, through that gap, up onto that. I've got to build a milking stand next. Let's not get that measurement wrong. <laughs> I mean, actually, actually, do you want to hold this while I go and stand next to it? Because this will be funny. Because I'm short. It's funny when I stand next to tall things. <clears throat> got it? <laughs> there we go. measures these things i don't i just i wing it as such yeah <laughs> but it's all fun right should we push it back yep. and then i can let the goats in uh, just drill away and put the main cable away i don't think goats should be allowed access to the main well leave that there for now i just want to let them in because i know billy's going to get overexcited at this I am so excited. <laughs> I wonder how long it's going to take him to figure it out. I wonder where I can put this so you can watch. I'll put it there. That will work. Yeah, that sort of works. That will work. Yay! <laughs> Raised garden bed. Yeah, that'd be really, really nice. Something with nice, lovely. Strawberries, there you go, you have strawberries. <laughs> needs to be raised a lot, needs to be raised out the reach of the goat. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's a good point, yeah. 
Yeah, all of our garden, garden 20 foot off the ground. Yeah, so <laughs> that's that's by ladders. that might stop Billy from getting it. One, two, three. What are you doing? Lifting it. I tried to lift it, but I've only got one corner and that doesn't work. No, it's in the middle. It's lifted here. Stops and turns. Let me out. Yep, it's going against that. Yep, I think so. Yep. Oh dear. So you can put sawdust in it or are you just going to let them explore? Let them explore because I'm only going to bring them in for a while and I'm going to kick them back out again. <sighs> I think it's really stable. Right, I'm going to get it going. Daddy. Daddy. Come on, Seppi. Billy, come on. Billy, what's this? Goats, so you're not going into my workshop. They're all over the workshop. Oh dear. Left the door open. We really should not have left open. Yep. We're back with you in a moment. <laughs> you can hear that crashing. The goats have gone and got the feed. about it oh you go get you going up no you're not going up we'll get some food and then you'll go up <laughs> ah hello oh carol Billy says he said. Oh, no, you're solving. What to do? Hi, oh, there we go. <laughs> do you want to lift the baby up? <laughs> How has he got hold? No, I can't lift it. It's too heavy. Very sweet. Too right, there. move the food away from Billy to the other side. That's it. Oh no, Billy! What did I do? Steffi's <laughs> giving me a look. What have you done to my house? <laughs> well, Seffy can't get up there, can she, really? Well, she can if she goes where Billy... Oh, she's figured it out. But she can't get there because Billy's there. Come on, working out. You're playing. Well, you can normally figure out things. There you go. One of the babies has got it. Oh, it's the female, of course. Oh, Seffy, you're so cute. On, Just push her over. Push her up while she's up there. Come on, Pixie. She's not as heavy once she's half in. There we are. There we go. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> May fall over. 
Yeah, that's what Billy's figured it out. <laughs> oh dear, Sprite here. He was actually the cleverest one of the baby. And as they've got older, he stayed. he's he stayed at the same sort of level, whereas the others have, have got a bit cleverer in their old age. <laughs> Is that fun, Zephy? That cannot be comfortable, girl. Oh, poor Sprite, he doesn't know how to do it. Oh, he's worked it out. Oh no, he hasn't. He's just going to cry. Go on then. <laughs> yeah, it might be a little bit. Of you might want to grab the bucket now and bring it out. Now everyone knows where it is. So this will just be a bed. It won't be where they get fed normally. I just wanted them in there. In there when they want to go to sleep. There you are, Seffy. There we go. Whoop! Whee! <laughs> Jump out, or is it? No, it doesn't seem to be. We'll relook back on the video. Need to tie it to the wall for safety. No, that's no it's not moving at all. Yeah. Well, everybody, thanks for joining. It's taken about an hour to build that and have fun with the goats. Oh, right, you haven't been it yet. Do you want to put him in there? Oh, God's right, we have to work it out. It's never for goats. Yeah, there's no food in there now. Yeah, we've got to work it Go out. On. Yay, good lad. Good boy, Sprite. <laughs> Thanks, Carol. It was fun for me. Next time I measure the legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next time I might do them only half the height. I didn't really think about that. What? You want to go back up again? Okay. There you go. Good lad, Sprite. Who's that? Is that Pixie? Uh, no, that's Nope. Imp. Of course not. Pixie's over there eating because that's... She's her mother's daughter. Yeah, she really is your daughter, isn't she, darling? We can tell that. Oh, hello. Boing. There we go. What do you think, goats? <laughs> I might put um, one of the cameras in here tonight. <laughs> can we put the wildlife camera in? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sefi wants to go in. Seffy knows about this this uh, hay manger. She's well aware of the hay manger. Oh dear, don't worry, it'll have bedding in it shortly. Well, there you go, that's an indoor play area. Um, I think we now need to do one for outside. Yeah. Do you want to go back out? Yeah? Oh, Seffy. Sure, I don't know. No. Get down. Like green rain. We let Billy and Seffy free range of these in here. <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> you found the light. Yeah, that's why it's got a name for it. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's it, everybody. Oh, that's it. Of course, straight in the, the hay trailer. Why not? Goats are funny. I love my goats. They're hilarious. But you just chased Gonzo away, you naughty goat. Right, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. That was... Oh, it's not turning around. Sorry, my... Ah, done. Thank you for joining us. I just thought it might be... Some of you might like to just watch and see how we're making the raised bed. Good success, obviously, because the goats love it. Yeah, that's a snow plow. Oh, I tell you, they're like a, a gang. The geese and the goats. Two separate gangs, rival gangs, are so funny. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for joining us, and uh, I will behave. I will behave. I will see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!